I don't have any fancy morning routine. I'm just rolling out of the bed, going to restroom, and then I'm out on the street and driving my wife to the train station, and yep, that helps a lot to wake up. After a quick walk with dog, I don't know, one and a half, maybe three kilometers at max, I'm back at home, and then I'm working on the most important thing at the day I have. I recently signed up for cohort-based writing course, Ship 30 for 30, basically that is 30-day writing challenge. YouTube is still my favorite platform to share, and consume content but written content in social networks has much faster communication speed. Also, writing helps to test ideas and get feedback faster than videos. In selfish reason, I would like to become better at expressing ideas. In the video, you can afford to ramble for a bit, but writing requires short and clear formulation. So follow me on Twitter if you are interested in my writing. Usually I'm posting all the links there. So this is no bullshit day in the life, so... <laughs> Next what I do is not kind of working productive till the end of the day, but I have some errands to do. And if I have any errands to do, I'm doing those before my work starts. And uh, yeah, today I'm driving my daughter also to the train station. She's going to visit grandparents. Also, I have to grab some errands. Trains in Latvia are just like straight from 60s. Don't me ask why I had Yeah, just because they look exactly the same like in my childhood. Just in case, I will need to celebrate uh, up release. <laughs> okay, it is 9.33 on the morning. So usually by this time at 9.30, 10, I'm starting to work on my freelance projects. Today, luckily for me, <laughs> I don't need to work on freelance projects. So I will work on my personal project, that one what Apple rejected, and will try to fix it to get it approved. Now it is time to deep dive into the work. So, Apple rejected my habit tracking app for absolutely wrong reason, spam. It happens from time to time. You can see random nonsense rejections and start discussion with Apple and that can be sorted out. Sometimes you should fight hard. It was relatively easy for me. I had to write just one response to Apple. They took a second look on the app and I got much better <laughs> rejection. Today's task is to fix all the issues and submit new app version for review. To do not miss anything, I created GitHub issues for all the problems reported by Apple and started to work on them. Everything related to in-app purchases was easy to fix. I copied and pasted my about screen from another app and Pro and Premium version is mentioned on that screen. Rocky mistake and it was a good catch from Apple. I fixed that and sure, I have to explain that in for next review submission to be sure I'm not rejected again. The next one complain was about only one goal tracked in the app. Apple did found how to add another goal. Well, that's feature, not a bug. The primary purpose of the app is to have a widget on the screen that will remind you to execute on most important task of the day. For example, I'm writing every day in January. I may do something new in February. I would like to be sure that I execute on that daily. Therefore, I have this app. Therefore, I have widget on the screen. You should adopt one new habit at the time and do not rush with, I don't know, five, ten habits in a month of January and 
and then drop everything in February. Okay, whatever. I updated the app guidance screen to clarify why only one habit should be tracked and wrote note for Apple review. Apple loves to test apps on the iPad. Even if your app supports iPhone only, they will still test on iPad and the guidance screen was slightly broken in my app when they tested it. So I fixed that, I updated the content on the screen as well and now it fits nicely. Apple reported that several screens of the app are crowded or laid out in the way that made difficult to use the app. I added a bunch of screenshots which didn't help much, but I found one screen, one more screen which was broken. And that is when you're adding habit from onboarding screen at the beginning of the app. Therefore, I decided to fix it. I could show this modular pop-up screen in full size that would make only the app review team happy while all the regular users with iphones will have input fields hardly reachable on the top of the screen so that's a terrible solution for the problem there is an option to see if user using ipad by checking the user's uh, interface idiom variable i tried to use it but it didn't work if you support iphone it will only return it as user device i wonder if that is bug or apple decided it is the smart way to implement this but it is as it is so you will always get current device iphone if ipad is just not supported in the application for the moment i was thinking about adding ipad support but that adds another layer of complexity to the app which is just mvp and application can change significantly in the next update releases therefore i had to find another solution in one of the older freelance projects i created custom class to handle device model because you can read device name but there is good and regularly maintained library that can handle that and much more device kit i didn't use it back in the days because i that application what i developed supported very old ios version so i had to come up with custom solution mm. I could copy paste that custom solution, but you have to update it every time when new device is released. So bad day again. <laughs> so device kit supports Swift packages. So I decided to go with it and quickly fix it the pop-up screen to work nicely on iPhone and whatever else Apple would like to test it. All the issues are fixed. I can submit the app for review, but to be sure the app is accepted, I have to add description for the review team for all the fixed issues. The second rejection was valid and well deserved, even throughout I didn't want to support iPad. The app should at least okay look and work on iPad, you know. And yeah, now I have to wait for a response from Apple. Fingers crossed, app will be approved. The next day. Yes, that's a win. It is time for victory wine or whatever, victory ice cream. <laughs> Great, I'm, I'm happy <laughs> that application it's nothing kind of serious, but it's kind of cool to get one more product released and yeah, that's really cool. I'm happy. <laughs> Good end of the story. Yeah, that's small, but victory. That is very bare minimum application MVP. Next, of course, is App Store optimization, adding more features, payments, also probably so. Let me know if you are curious to see that process, whatever you are interested to see, and I will try to catch up on that. And yeah, of course, subscribe <laughs> to don't miss the next video. Okay, bye.